Right, here we are. Back with Spaz. Let's play. Um, I actually don't know what episode this is. I have just started a session and I should really know what episode this is. I do apologise. Um, upper 40s, something like that. I'm kind of a few episodes ahead, as I normally am, but either way. Let's, um, let's see what we've got. Right, we have a level 70 system. We've got some research points. Um... I want to get some goodies. Do I have any decent goodies in here? No, basically bomber drones. Just basic drones. Drone stuff. Cloak stuff. Oh, we've got... Oh yeah, the mass driver. More droney stuff. With a... With a base. The old bounty hunters. God, oh, there's loads of them. More cloaky kind of thingy stuff. I still want that fortress shield because I don't think I've actually got that technology. Aha, security base in that system. UTA, they hate me. They basically have some tech that I want. They don't have any tech that I want. Oh, they have some tech, but again, it's it's the security base which dislike me and are quite powerful. How do I get to... Oh, I see. Right, I'm going to go to this system, because that unlocks that system that I need to get to anyway. Hopefully... Oh, there we go, Fortress Shield. Yeah, let's go here. And it's ten levels below me, this system, so it shouldn't offer me a, a particular threat. Well... Well, not a threat that I can't handle anyway. Uh, come on. Wow. As per usual, I'm making friends everywhere I go. <laughs> I just... this... This is so powerful. I'm tempted just to cut down on the, um, uh, come on, cut down on the, what you call it, armor plating, because, to be honest, especially when I get my fortress shield, it's not really that much, it's just, they're not, they're not got what it takes to do any significant damage. Oh, you were caught between a rock and a hard place. Ouch! And so are you, and you're next. Wow, those things are powerful! Boy, you too. I see you. Oh god, accidentally hit a cloaked ship. Didn't last very long. <laughs> it's a slaughter! There's, there's no chance! There's absolutely no chance. I've maxed my crew now. Oh dear. Oh! Oh, I think someone mentioned actually something that I haven't done because I'm an idiot. And that is to put the old um, improved friendship beams. Uh, they're not really friendship beams, are they now? They're more... Um, well, I could be honest and just call them beams of doom, but no. I think that they're more... Uh, I don't know. It's bigger than friendship. Beloved beams or something. <laughs> uh, right, I am going to... I'm going to suck up some more goons. Wow. It's a shame that I really could... I mean, the point defence isn't actually all that important, I don't think. Or am I just being... Or have I got lack of foresight? Don't know. Okay, any experience orbs? No. Right. First things first, I'm... Thinking, 
what can I do now? Ah, I mean these I mean these things these fusion beams I mean they're awesome <laughs> um, and they're very short range that's the only thing I don't really like about them is the range I'm gonna cut down my armor I don't seem to be needing the armor do you know what I mean it just doesn't seem to me I'm gonna keep as I say I'm gonna keep the armor plates Actually, let's try Alright, that'll lighten things up a little bit. Or I could really just slap the light armor on. There we go, right. Because I tend to point toward the enemy. But I can't turn very fast, so I'm going to leave it at that. Do I really, really need the point defense? So far, no. So far, I, I really don't. So I'm going to slap... You know what, I think I will just put another tractor beam on there. That sounds a bit mad, but why not? Got nothing that I can slap in, anything better there. That beauty's doing well. I get a bit of a refund as well, that's nice. Shield boosters, beam boosters, engine boosters. I could always just put more beams on here. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to really overkill. I don't even need leech emitters, do I? I don't need... Oh, the particle cannon, it's... Uh... Not really my thing. Madness, isn't it? Really, the, the the sheer output of this setup. I don't really need that. To be honest, you know what? I think it might be worth doing the whole crazy. I could do dual fusion beams, couldn't I? Forward facing only fusion beams. Because they're only tiny, and to be honest, the boost is probably not significant. Is there really much point, though? Oh, hell. Let's just put more power on the beams. <laughs> more on the shields. There we go, right. Second thing's second. Um, I don't need a missile boat anymore. What I need is something that's got a lot of shoot amounts um, and it's not going to hurt having some utility mounts it's just a mixture of things two turret mounts, a utility mount I think the yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking that the saucer might be a good... let's have a look. If I put fusion beams on it, a lot of fusion beams, upgrade the crap out of it. Yeah, let's make it so that shield can get back on track quick as possible. Pump up a bit more crew. That central turret, I can always put a shield booster on it. Or just another bloody fusion beam. <laughs> Look at it, it's gonna kick ass. Okay, I'm gonna leave the armor plates as they are because I suspect that it's probably gonna be enough. I mean, that's monstrous. Um, we'll see how well it does, of course, in, in practice, but yeah, that, that's um, it's quite harsh. Well, the Colt, the Colt's got the shooter mounts. I don't think there's anything to stop me just seeing how well this kind of setup does. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with a setup like that. So basically I'm all fusion beams. Hoorah! Are they actually flying back to the ship to reef it? Why don't they just warp away? Now, now I can't physically move. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's, that's a bit lethal. That's a bit lethal. 
Yeah. Still doesn't turn very well, but I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. So, this system, yeah. I mean, the whole point of this is to actually buy stuff if we can. The civ civilians are, are puny and don't like us, and they're the ones with the fortress shield. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> well, you know what happens when you see someone weak um, and you don't like them. You do that. There we go. That is what happens. Okay, I'm just going to leave that going now. Okay, right now. Let me just... Um, wow. <laughs> it's just these beams are insane. Power. It it can handle it to a point. Don't get me wrong. It's not exactly unable to sustain output. <laughs> God, this thing's having trouble. Okay. That's that's that then. Um the UTA still don't like us. What do they have? Armor. And they're strong. They are strong. So either I weaken them or befriend them. There's no option. Okay. I'm just gonna charge straight in there. No, oh, we've got a big belt of useful stuff. Da -da -da. Ow. There we go, right. Don't want that. What we want is that. Damn it! Zombies! How damn zombies? Looks like my little ship decided to have a go against this stupid tick. Oh, you can't get away from me. Okay, sorted. That's this system used up, as it were. Now let's crack the gate guards unlock a few more systems maybe find some more tech yeah you ain't got much chance boy you have a better chance probably only just Wow, it didn't even get through my shields. When I get fortress shields, I don't even know how the enemy even pretend that they're going to be able to survive. Wow, there are a lot of zombies trying to get in my ship.
I'll just spin the lasers around a bit. Oh, it's agile! Not agile enough. Right, this gate will be a little bit harder because it's uh, closer to my level. But to be honest, probably not by much. There's probably going to be a lot of cloaked ships. Right, <clears throat> open fire on that behemoth. Oh, it hasn't got a chance. I mean, the odd thing gets in the way every now and again. But really? Really? You think you got a chance? <laughs> Look at that. Come on, you two. Run away. Cowards. Well, I am running low on power. Well, whoever said that these things only take power when they uh, fire, charge up and fire is a little bit inaccurate. I mean, to be honest, there's not a huge problem with the amount that they drain while being fired, but they definitely need continuous energy to keep going. There we go. Oh, who cares if the system gets ravaged by zombies? Not my problem. Now, of course, it may rapidly become my problem later on in the game. But, for now, not my problem. I'm probably going to regret that <laughs> attitude, but they're just, you know, the boring, fighting zombies, endless zombies, killing zombies. It's, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, is it? What have we got here? We've got the Hunter SRM, which I do actually kind of like the look of, but not massively. Now that I've got such a great amount of strength in beams, and I've got my fusion beams, I kind of don't want to even bother with launchers. That's just your mass driver. Nothing in this system of note. I'm just smashing this gate because I can. There we go. Cool. Gonna end up destroying all them. Come on, absorb them. Absorb the goons. Goons are still a really important commodity. I think those two tractor beams are actually a really good idea. Because the sheer range makes it really useful. And I'm, being a huge ship, I have got quite a significant amount of cargo space. probably do with a smaller ship that's got a tractor beam slot. Just absorb them all. That one's still... Oh, here we go. Let's un unblock it. I kind of want to unlock every system, even if it doesn't then mean that there's a significant advantage. These big brothers haven't got a chance. 
To be honest, I don't think much has got a chance. Okay, I've pretty much gotten all the goons that I can. Yeah, I could really do with something with a bit more... Alright, not that it actually matters about doing that, because <laughs> I'm about to warp out the system and any anyway. Let's just wait for them all to be absorbed.